fridge it's easier to handle when it's chilled and then I just hand drew this letter one stencil with cardstock paper and laminated it so that it's easier for me to clean and reuse for the toppings I have an array of fishing slash beach theme I collected some photos from mom and we have some pictures this is actually Peyton's baby brother's first birthday so that's Peyton his baby brother Grayson, his little sister Reagan, and there is the little birthday boy. I'm going to be sticking in some different types of tropical fish and then I made this little, I don't know what you would call it, but it's just a sign that holds up his name that is made out of colorful fish along with a happy birthday sign. And because it's a beach theme, I did crush up some graham crackers to mimic sand. And then for the water, I had made some vanilla pudding, which is just this instant vanilla pudding that I add food coloring in. And then I'm gonna be folding in some Cool Whip. This is the original. I love using Cool Whip for the cakes because it's not overpoweringly sweet and it just makes the whole cake nice and light. So I'm gonna go and cut out my two layers of number one and then I'll be back to show you how I assemble. So I got my first layer cut and now I'm gonna go and do it to the second layer. Now if you take a look, you'll notice there's a dome on the cake. So I'm gonna have to level it out by removing the top dome. It's a lot more leveled. And now we can start assembling it. The in-between layer will be lined and filled with vanilla pudding Cool Whip. Since the Cool Whip is very light and airy, I recommend mixing the Cool Whip well to condense any air pockets before inserting it into the piping bag to avoid air bubbles. Laying down the second layer of the cake is probably one of the most nervous steps for me. If you chill your cake in the fridge or freezer for a bit before handling, it will stiffen the cake, making it less fragile. To create the beach theme, I decided to go with chocolate frosting on the top half, which will be the glue to hold down the graham cracker crumbs, which will be the sand. And then the second half of the cake will be some vanilla pudding Cool Whip mixture. And after piping it, I went in with an offset spatula to smooth it out. Don't mind my dog in the background running back and forth. If you know my dog, he does this all day long. All right, now to add the little details. I'm going to sprinkle and gently pack down crumbs crushed graham cracker crumbs onto the chocolate frosting. I used the back of a spoon to gently push it into the frosting so that it holds still. For the shoreline, I used an offset spatula and tapped it with Cool Whip to give it some whitewash texture. For the ocean, I wanted it to have a glossy finish so I carefully spread a thin and purposely uneven layer of the blue vanilla pudding to give it some ocean dimension. My foundation is complete, and now for my favorite part, placing all of the toppings. During my cake planning, I brainstorm and map out my ideas. After receiving photos to add on the cake, I decide where and how I would like to incorporate them. The photos I got for the birthday boy fit so perfectly with my ideas. I manipulated some of the poses to give it the look as if he were holding up his sign sitting in the sand and swimming in the ocean. I really, really love how this one turned out. Mm -hmm. 